Hey everyone, in this video I'm sharing our day of travel from Vancouver to Souk, British Columbia, the stops we made along the way, and some tips. We stopped at a popular English pub in Nanaimo, made our way to Duncan, BC, where we stopped at a vineyard, then made it to a cidery and distillery in Cobble Hill before continuing to our final destination of Souk, BC. The total drive without stops was about four and a half hours, but it basically took us the entire day with all our stops. We started our rainy morning in Vancouver, got a quick breakfast and made our way to Horseshoe Bay Ferry Terminal. From here, we would board the ferry to go back to Nanaimo, BC on Vancouver Island, about a two hour ferry ride. The ferry terminal does get pretty busy, but we were a bit early, so we decided to look around. My first tip of the trip is that you can get out of your car. This may not be news to everyone, but if it's your first time taking the ferry and you have time, you can stretch your legs. Which brings me to my second tip. Pedestrians can also take the ferry. You don't need to go with a car and it's actually cheaper to go as a pedestrian. But if you are taking your vehicle, my third tip is to book online in advance, especially if you're going on a weekend during the summer. We just arrived at the ferry to head back to Nanaimo and check out the spot that we got. We're in front of the row, woohoo! I don't think we're gonna be first off, but we're gonna have an excellent view if we decide to sit here. Another tip I wanted to share is that the ferry has a lot of amenities on board. We had no idea it would be like this. There's an information center with travel and tourism brochures, a big shop selling clothing, souvenirs, snacks, and other items, various seating areas, a kid's zone, and a big cafeteria style restaurant. So if you're in a hurry and don't have time to stop for food or coffee, you can get it on the ferry. We enjoyed the ocean views before heading back to our car and waiting to disembark. And our first stop was the Crow and Gate. This traditional English pub is on the outskirts of Nanaimo and had a full menu of old English style food. We loved it and it was definitely worth the 45 minute wait. Alan got a beef pie with a salad, and I got a cold salad plate that came with a scotch egg, and I was pretty happy about that find. The food and atmosphere here reminded us of our trip to England and all of the pubs we visited and the delicious food we had while we were there. If you're in the area, we would highly suggest stopping here for a meal. My tip for the Crow and Gate pub is to explore the grounds. They have beautiful gardens surrounding the pub, and since it's a popular place, you're likely gonna have to wait anyways, so you might as well enjoy the scenery. Yeah. 
After lunch, we drove for another 40 minutes south to Avril Creek Vineyard. This estate winery is located in the Cowichan Valley on the site of Mount Prevost and was established in 2001. They pride themselves on producing honest wines that reflect their site and the vintage. You can visit the tasting room, but reservations are strongly suggested as they only accept walk-ins if space permits. We were fortunate that they had space and we were seated out on their beautiful patio. And if you're traveling with a four-legged companion, well-behaved dogs were permitted and there were a few there during our visit. I did the tasting flight that had five of their wines and is served with a placemat telling you about each of them. Alan had a few sips and gave his stamp of approval. Just got so bright out. <laughs> Just at the end of our visit, the sun finally came out and we enjoyed the views before we left. Then we did some errands and made our way to Marydale Cidery and Distillery. Located in Cobble Hill, Marydale is primarily known for their selection of artisanal craft ciders and spirits. The property is full of charm and unique touches and the farm is home to an eatery, store, brick oven bakery, cidery, distillery, tasting bar, and a vinegar shack. It's also a dog welcoming property with a little puppy parking lot at the entrance. They also added a pond, gazebo, and two yurts for orchard glamping. The eatery was quite large with plenty of indoor and outdoor seating options. They also had quite the menu with sandwiches, pies, pizza, burgers, and desserts. But we were still full from lunch. We decided to do a tasting and got a cider flight and a spirit flight. Typically, I'm not a fan of cider, but these were really good and not too sweet at all. Spirits were also tasty and had some unique flavors. We learned that Marydale ciders are farm crafted using just apples and yeast for pure orchard fresh taste. There are no added sulfites or preservatives and the ciders are naturally gluten free. We sat and enjoyed our flights trying to figure out the next activity on our road trip to Souk. But before we left, we had to look around the property. So a tip for you is to plan a few hours here for your visit. You can do self-guided tours of the cellar, orchard walks, and visit the shop or eatery for a snack or full meal. Hey buddy. And our final destination was our hotel in Souk, but it took us much longer than anticipated due to the road work. So a tip for you, basically wherever you are in Canada, summer is road work season. So prepare for some delays if you're planning a road trip. Unfortunately, it was the only way to our destination, so we had to sit in traffic for a few hours. But then we made it to our beautiful hotel, the Prestige Oceanfront Resort. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll give you a tour of our room and the beautiful property. I hope you enjoyed seeing a bit of Vancouver Island and that this video can be helpful if you're planning your own trip here in the future. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more travel videos coming soon. I'll catch you in the next one.